everyone, welcome to my match tutorials. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell. Enable for you to get updated in my tutorial videos. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so our lesson for this video is all about the different types of angles. The first one is the right angle. It is an angle that is exactly 90 degree. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is the right angle. As you can see, nag form siya ng letter L, right? After that, I'm gonna put a small box in between the lines. Take a look at this. Yan, small box. That small box is what we call markings. It is used to identify if the figure is a right angle, okay? That measures 90 degrees. So, lagi nyo lang tatandaan na hindi nagbabago ang measurement ng right angle, okay? So, the second one is an acute angle. It is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So, tatandaan nyo yung mga keywords, ha? Kung kanina, yung right angle is exactly 90 degree, ang acute angle naman is less than 90 degree. Meaning to say, mas mababa yung measurement niya sa right angle. Okay? It can be 45 degree, 85 degree, 35 degree. As long as mas mababa siya sa 90 degree, it is called as an acute angle. Next, is an obtuse angle an angle that is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree meaning to say ang measurement niya ay mas mataas kay right angle at mas mababa sa so 180 degree okay so take a look on how I draw it like this okay then I'm gonna put markings in it okay and that is how an obtuse angle looks like. As you can see, mas wider yung angle niya um, compared to the right angle at sa acute angle. In regards with the measurement, it can be in between 91 degree to 179 degree. Next is the straight angle. It is an angle that is exactly 180 degree degree. Okay. Okay, so tingnan natin yung itsura niya. Alright. Um, this is a straight line. Okay. So, very self-explanatory na po ito. Kasi ang straight angle is just that, a straight line. Okay. And that straight angle is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so next is the reflex angle. It is an angle that is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Okay, so take a look on how I draw a reflex angle. Yan. Kusundan nyo lang po. Okay. okay, so advice ko lang po to all students out there. Uh, mahalaga na meron tayong protractor. Kasi mas madali tayo makakapag-identify ng angle if we're using a protractor. Okay, that is a reflex angle looks like. Um, its measurement is greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. Okay, so meron din tayong tinatawag na full angle. And this is what it looks like. Just a full circle measures exactly 360 degree degree. Okay, so moving on to the next one, the supplementary angle. Two angles are supplementary if their measurement is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so we're talking about here the combination of the two angles, okay? Um, based on my experience, mas madami yung mga students na medyo nakakalimutan nila kung ano nga ba yung measurement ng supplementary angle. So, to all students out there, just keep on watching. 
Okay, so um, we have angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree and able to be called as supplementary. Okay, take a look on how I draw it. Okay, I draw a straight angle which is exactly 180 degree on its measurement. Okay. One obtuse angle and one acute angle. Okay, so lagyan natin ng label yung mga angles. Wow, sana all my label. Okay. Angle 1 as an obtuse angle and angle 2 as an acute angle. So, for example, one, angle 1 is 105 degree, meaning to say angle 2 is 75 degree. Bakit? Okay, kasi nga 105 degree plus 75 degree is equal to 180 degree. And then sabi natin, a supplementary angle is the two the two angles that is equal to 180 degree they supplement each other okay okay so ganun lang naman ka simple ang supplementary angle two angles combined equal to 180 degree okay so moving on to the next we have complementary angles the two angles are complementary if the sum of their measurement is equal to 90 degree. Okay, we're gonna talk about the right angle in here. Okay, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 degree and able to be called as complementary. Take a look on how I draw it. Um, I'm gonna draw a right angle. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to divide it by 2. Okay, divided already and put a markings in it. Okay, so we have angle 1 and angle 2. Okay, let's say for example, angle 1 measures 45 degree. Meaning to say angle 2 measures 45 degree also. So they complement with each other because 45 plus 45 is equal to... 90 degree you can use subtraction anyway like for example angle 1 is 35 degree find its complement 90 minus 35 is equal to 55 degree moving on to the last we have vertical angle it is formed by two intersecting lines so later on we're gonna find kung ano ba yung intersecting lines and also vertical angles are congruent meaning to say they have the same measurement okay When we say intersecting lines, it is, it's the two lines meet at one point, okay? In short, sila yung pinagtagpo, pero hindi tinadhana. Charot lang. Okay, so yan yung itsura ng intersecting lines. Okay, so we have vertical angles. When we say vertical angles, ito yung dalawang angle in their opposite direction let's say for example nga angle 1 and angle 2 so they are congruent to each other because they are vertical angles okay we have also angle 3 and angle 4 also they are congruent to each other because they are vertical angles okay remember that when we say congruent meaning to say they have the same measurement like for example angle 1 is equal to 110 degree meaning to say its vertical angle angle 2 is also 110 degree so they are congruent okay and of course para makuha natin si angle 4 i-apply natin si supplementary angles disregard the figure okay so 110 plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degree that's why angle 1 and angle 4 are supplementary angles okay nagets ba nakuha nyo ba okay po since angle 3 and angle 4 are vertical angles meaning to say angle 3 is also 70 degree in measures 
Okay po. Okay, take a look also on angle 3 and angle 2. Okay, they are also supplementary angles. Disregard the figure again. Kung napapansin nyo, we have full circle, angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4, okay? So, when you add them up, it should be 360 degree in total. 110 plus 70 plus 110 plus 70 is equal to 360. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please subscribe, like and share, and hit the notification bell. Enable for you to get updated on my next match tutorials. God bless everyone.